Today I'll teach you how to use select stored procedure using Dapper in ASP.NET. So let's start. We'll start by adding a grid view control. Let's move to the code behind. We'll start by adding some namespaces. Now inside the page load event handler, here I have created a string variable and inside that I am reading the connection string from the web.config file. Now here we'll specify the name of the stored procedure. Customers underscore get customers. I have created an object of SQL connection class. Here I am making use of idataReader which is written from the execute reader function of the Depa library. Now I am passing the name of the stored procedure and the command type. Now I am creating an object of data table which will be filled using data reader. Once the data table is populated with data, it is assigned to the data source property of the grid view control. And finally, the data bind function of the grid view control is called. The population part of the grid view is completed. Now let's run the code and see the grid view. As you can see the preview is displaying data. So with this we come to the end of this video. That's it.